there are more allegations of criminality coming out. You didn't think it was possible. We're weeks and weeks into this, more stuff is still being uncovered. According to Politico, George Santos was charged with theft by deception back in 2017 in Pennsylvania's Amish country after a series of bad checks totaling $15,125 were written in his name to dog breeders in the area. So someone was ripping off possibly Amish dog breeders <laughs> to get free dogs. We don't know that they were definitely Amish, it was Amish country, which is not the same thing. But someone was doing it, now who is it? So we get some details from this political account. Attorney Tiffany Bogosian, who is a middle school classmate of Santos and reconnected with him in 2020, told Politico that the then future congressman told her the checkbook had gone missing in 2017 and blamed someone he knew for its disappearance. And she believed him, like defended him. He said that he had canceled the checkbook with TD Bank as soon as he had noticed it was gone. And Tiffany Bogosian said that he was clearly a victim of fraud. She was his friend a long time ago, defender. However, she told Politico she now doesn't believe her former classmates claim after he tried to get one of her personal injury clients to invest with a Florida firm that the Securities and Exchange Commission later said was a Ponzi scheme. So she even had his back after the Amish dog fraud. But now she's like, wait, he totally tried to con one of my people. What is with this guy? And by the way, it is entirely possible that someone stole uh, the checkbook and that he didn't actually do it. But wasn't it check like check fraud that he did down in Brazil? And it has to do with dogs. His whole charity is all about dogs. Like there are too many signs pointing to he tried to rip off the Amish for puppies. What do you think, Brat? Believe George. <laughs> I'm tired of this guy getting a raw deal. He is not a fraudster. It's so easy. It's such the easy narrative to believe that yes, just because he is at the heart of all of these lies in multiple places and all of them stink the exact same way. It's easy to just get suckered into that as a narrative and believe it's true. But what if he's just that unlucky? What if he's always be. been in the wrong place at the wrong time? This is America. He should be allowed to defend himself in a court of law hooked up to a lie detector test. I need mm -hmm. to see it. I need it streamed live on Twitch. We'll provide oh. the show. George Santos, come it. on down. You're the next contestant on DYT wants to hook you up to a lie detector. Because this guy started a show where politicians probably pass it. No politician would go on a show where they were hooked up to a lie detector, but that would be pretty exciting. We should we should set that up. Someone's idea. gonna steal it with a much bigger audience. Damn it. Anyway, um, yeah, look, I don't I like the idea that throughout his life he's been in the wrong place at the wrong time. The only thing I can say with certainty is that right now he's very much in the wrong place. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.